What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Mystic Waters. Did y'all like that new intro? Ah, I love it. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you guys are here. We are going to be playing, yes, of course, Austin Tacious. Told y'all I'm getting back to episodes, so just, you know, this is regular episode or regular episodes, <laughs> regular uploads, so I'll be doing this, uh, you know, like a couple times a week. Um, I'm still doing Sims, so don't worry. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, it and get into it, it, also take shit, also take shit, oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm excited to get back into it. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? I did have some coffee. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a little hyped, but I'm good. <laughs> I am totally good. Episode seven, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get back. Okay. I have dreams. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. My guy voice, hold on. I have dreamed the too long, baby. Kissing you, I can't be sorry for for it was the best moment of my life. All I can do is swear that I will never let it happen again. I will keep the memory of your touch with me as long as I live. For in that moment, I felt I knew what life is truly about. How can I apologize for the one thing I am internally grateful for? The eloquence with which he explained himself had me hypnotized. Ooh, I'm proud of myself. I read that real good. <laughs> This man who looked so rough and ready had the sensitive soul of an artist and I could not hold myself back. Give him kisses. Baby, didn't you hear what I just... No more talking, Mr. Johnson. Just kiss me. <laughs> Don't think I've forgotten about that biting incident in the lake. We'll see how you like being bitten. Oh, he nasty, y'all. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, I'm sorry to intrude. I was just looking for... Baby? Alisa? Baby, what are you doing here? I'm going to tell her the truth, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she did just catch us kissing. Or should I lie? No, I'm going to tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. Honesty is the best policy. I agree. Mr. Johnson has been giving me private dancing lessons. Oh, I see. I didn't realize Mr. Johnson was taking on new students. When does the next enrollment begin? Alisa! <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, you must return to the house. Uncle has noticed your disappearances. I told him that you had taken up landscape watercolors, but it's getting dark now, so... Landscape watercolors? I panicked, all right? If you had told me the truth, I might have been able to tell him something more believable. We must return at once, though. <laughs> Follow her quickly, Lass. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Go now, lass. Okay, boy, Johnny, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Miss Baby. <laughs> oh, my God, they're, like, so cute. Alisa, slow down. You're walking too fast. Spill it. Spill what? What did I just walk in on? Are you having a torrid love affair with the gameskeeper? Alisa, baby. I'm not a fool, you know. I can see that there was a lot more happening in that room than what meets the eye. How long has this been going on for? I'll tell the truth. Ugh. I don't know. Honestly, Elisa, for the moment I first saw him, I felt strangely drawn to him. Like we already knew one another. I can't describe it. Has he made love to you? Elisa! Has he? No, we just kissed today and... He kissed you? <laughs> She's so excited. Oh my goodness. What was it like? Now that we're sharing, I have to confess something to you. I have been seeing Robert in secret. He's just the most charming man. I know father would never approve, but I do really think he could be the one. Alisa, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, baby, you don't even know him. He may not be as ruggedly gorgeous as Mr. Johnson, but he certainly has a way with women, you know? Unfortunately, I know all too well. In fact, Robert has the day off tomorrow. Can you tell Uncle that I've gone to paint watercolors at a spot you recommended? 
then I can cover for you next time you fancy a little trip into the woods. Actually, I have something very important the day after tomorrow. Perfect. Come on now before they really do send out a search party for us. Oh, Lord. She don't even know. She don't even know. Once again, I find myself lying awake as sleep evaded me. I felt the feelings inside me swirling, making my toes tingle and my fingers itch. How I longed to reach out and touch Johnny, but I knew I would have to be content with waiting until the show now. Nervous butterflies fluttered as I contemplated the thought of a full day without seeing him. How quickly this man had become such a central part of my life. How completely he had consumed my every thought. How entirely I felt the love I had for him fill up every hole in my heart. She in love, y'all. Ooh. The next day. Come on, let's get into it. Come on, girl. Baby, are you with me? Yes, apologies. You keep drifting off into daydreams. What on earth are you thinking about? <laughs> uh, Mr. Johnson, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about our kiss. <laughs> she is daydreaming about him. Baby? Oh, shh. Random too. Elephants? <laughs> elephants indeed i wonder how big their hearts are do they feel love more strongly than we do <laughs> he's like okay what a peculiar thought <laughs> i think you think entirely too much for a woman baby it's not an endearing quality in a wife to be lost in daydreams continuously boy although if you were my wife i'm certain i can endure it if you don't get the uh, out of here Wait, did he just call him out on what he just implied? Make a random awkward noise and blush. I'm going to call him out. I beg your pardon, Neil, but did you just... Don't tell me the thought hasn't crossed your mind, baby. The thought of us, you, and I. I know your father sent you here to meet an eligible husband, but I do think that he was very aware of the fact that one already resided here. And after all, I will inherit your father's estate should you not marry. So either way, you will be at my mercy, baby. You can just choose to be Mrs. Bradford rather than an old maid. I'm putting him in his place. You entirely too bold, sir. Fortune favors the bold, miss. Well, perhaps you should check the stars tonight. For I do believe you will find that they are not shining upon you. I like this side of you. You're passionate. You have no idea. Not yet. Ugh. If you don't get out of here regardless of how you feel you oh regardless of how you feel in this moment you are running out of options to secure yourself a future let's be realistic you have very few redeeming qualities and your looks are starting to fade i have many redeeming qualities mr bradford oh is that so you cannot dance nor sing you play no instrument nor do you paint or sketch your conversation is lacking and your intelligence is subpar i mean do you even know what game we are playing, baby? You have been so away with the fairies, I can't tell. Very well, Mr. Bradford. Mm. You may have taken clear measure of my many downfalls as you so clearly list them. But my subpar intelligence drives me to speak freely on my own sense of self-worth. To my below average mind, a woman's worth is more than party tricks to entertain guests she is not a bird in a gilded cage to be admired and seen when paraded a woman should be valued and loved for who she is not her ability to pro uh, procure procure a uh, male hair i was doing good y'all dying <laughs> not her ability to make her vapid shallow pig of a husband look good and certainly not for her unfaded looks as though she is some trophy i would rather be a pigeon than a peacock if it meant a life free of the despondency <laughs> perhaps i have it all backwards though my intelligence is deficient deficient after all <laughs> oh lord i was doing good he looked at me shocked and stunned by my sudden outburst but i can no longer hold back and by the way we're playing chess and i'm one move away from checkmating you you certainly are not mm. Oh, Lord. <sighs> now you have your chance to really rub it in. I don't know how to play. Yes. <laughs> you are white. Neil is black. 
Oh Lord Jesus. Y'all, I'm about to lose. I'm about to lose. I'm about to lose. Uh, move my queen. This is your queen. Are you sure you want to move this piece? I guess. Oh my God, you got. Oh, I did it. Awesome job, I did it. <laughs> Checkmate. Good afternoon, Mr. Bradford. I'm afraid I must take my leave now. All this talking has exhausted my tiny female brain. Oh my God, you guys, I've never played chess before and I'm so excited that I just won. <laughs> I ran directly from the room, not caring to listen to any response from him. Cause he's a jerk. I just knew I needed to be outside. I feel trapped and caged within these walls. Uh, my goodness. Is that all my life is to be? A ring on the finger of whatever hideous man chooses to buy me? Like a cow in the market? There must be more to life than this. Has to be, baby. Sorry, I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> As the waves of despair engulfed me, his voice was the light that broke the chest. What on earth is the matter? Why are you crying? He pulled me roughly into his arms as I felt him turn side to side to ensure we were alone. I don't want to do this anymore. Do what? This. Any of it. I don't want to be a lady anymore. I don't want to make tears sew or paint. I don't want to be ready for society. This is so inherently awful that I'd rather die than... He pulled me by the elbow to a secluded alleyway and pushed my back against the wall. Enough of this now. He said firmly, you are to speak no more of death or dying. Whatever the matter is, it can be remedied. Reme <laughs> you are worth so much more than you can ever know. And my heart cannot bear the thought of a world without you in it. So please take a breath and tell me what's wrong. So I relate all that Neil said said. My eyes filled with angry tears instead of sadness. I watched Johnny's face transform from concern to rage as finished. He said that to you? His fists were clenched as he spoke through gritted teeth. Yes, but... Uh-oh. Johnny, what are you doing? Or where are you going? <laughs> to beat the living daylight out of him. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I ran to catch him, but he was yards ahead of me. Y'all. Johnny, what's oh, Johnny? What's wrong? What's going? Oh, he brushed Bill aside. His gaze fixed ahead, unwavering. Oh Lord, baby, what on earth? Bill, I've made a huge mistake, and now I think Johnny's about to do something rash. How rash? Walloping, walloping, walloping Neil Bradford. Rash. Oh, good grief, baby, please just go to the kitchen and wait for me. I'll sort this out. I felt torn. I wanted to run and help, but I had pushed Johnny to his point. Perhaps my presence would only make the matter worse. Probably. Reluctantly, I withdrew to the kitchen and waited anxiously. <sighs> oh, baby, there you are. Oh, Lord. Neil? I wondered where you had gone. You didn't retire to your... Sorry, somebody was calling. <laughs> retired to your room after having such a fit of hysterics earlier. I was quite concerned about you. Boy, he wasn't concerned. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Johnny enter the kitchen, Bill behind him. Oh, Lord. He froze. I am quite all right, Neil. I simply needed some time alone to... No doubt you are hungry. Why don't we see what they can get for you? Ah, Bill. Miss Baby's in need of a... Sustenance? <laughs> and I'm sure you can oblige. But of course, sir. Johnny, why are you inside? I watched his lip twitch slightly, one hand still balled into a fist. I came to check on the larder stock, sir. See if we were in need of any more chicken, for I have good flock. Ah, excellent. Here you are, Miss Baby. Bill didn't meet my eye as he handed me a small plate. Excellent, Bill. You may leave us now. Oh, Lord. Johnny? Uh-oh. You're a horse man, are you not? I am. Do you not find that in many ways a woman is much like a horse? Wow, I'm afraid I don't follow, sir. Take Miss Baby, for example. But a half hour passed, she, had, she was quite beside herself. But now she has a little sugar lump. She is entirely herself again, much like a horse. Keep them well fed, watered, and they'll never give you the buck. Unless you want them to, of course. He gets on my nerves. Neil brought his hand down hard into my rear and I flinched. Oh my God, how rude. 
Neil! Yes, dear. I wondered if you might accompany me to my room. I'm in need of a rest after my embarrassing performance earlier. But of course, allow me. Oh my God, Neil took my elbow as quickly I guided him out the room. I caught one last glance at Johnny's painted face or pained face before he was out of sight. I know, Johnny, I know. It's 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 crazy, yo. It's crazy. I lay in my bed for for hours going over all that had happened. I prayed that I had not involved Johnny in any of that. All I ever do is complicate matters and mess things up. He could have lost his job today or worse. I shuddered to think of what might have happened had Bill not got to him first. Had I not removed Neil from the situation, tomorrow we would be dancing together for the school's girls, school girls. <laughs> And then it would all be over and we would go back to being just, what? What are we? Elisa, I'm really not in the mood to hear about your afternoon with Johnny? What you doing here? Hold up now! <laughs> uh, what is this? Uh, would you like to support my writing by unlocking an extra exclusive scene to see what happened when Bill caught up with Johnny? Sure! of course you know I support you all I like supporting hey uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said like that where do you soft in the head where the hell are you going get out of my way Bill you don't want any of this you've taken leave of your senses if you act on this you're going to get yourself killed and and what could have stirred you to such rage? In this about babe, is this about baby? Did Mr. Bradford do something? He's a pig and he deserves to be beaten like one. You're acting like a fool. I know you care for her, but you have to cl calm yourself, man. She's beside herself right now, worrying about you. You're walking a dangerous tight rope. Yes, at the right here. And you can't let your emotions get the better of you. Or you will fall and you'll take her down with you. You're right. Yes, I'm aware. Don't get too cocky. Where is she? I told her to wait in the kitchen. Let's go. For a moment there, I thought you were going to Bray, man. I was. <laughs> he was about to go crazy. <laughs> I love this story, guys. I'm so glad I'm getting back to it. Y'all, I'm so excited. Well, guys, let me know down below how you like the story. And I, tell me how glad you are that I am doing this again, y'all. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know down below uh, what other stories you want me to read. So, so far, um, we're doing Wentworth. We're doing Ostentatious. I don't know if you guys want me to bring back the other stories I was reading. Just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, please share, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.